arrived at Bray Beach Hotel and I'm already having the best time ever. <laughs> Look at this. Woo. Just a quick drive by and got some breakfast ordered. But yeah, I just thought whilst I'm waiting, we'll jump down. Just take the coat off. Bloody hot. This is the hotel. Hopefully they give me a balcony room. <laughs> Apparently that room at the top there is pretty nice. Take that in for a second. Basically, I'm on my way to cycle and surf Alderney. They've got the craziest electric bikes on the island. Uh, you can basically just rag it around 30 miles an hour, not 30 miles an hour. You can rag it around pretty quick. I'm gonna stop by, say hello, see if they'll sort me out a bike. And uh, this is what I'm rocking today. So just cruising on uh, cycle and surf's finest pushang. It's doing a job. Thought I'd go for the pushang this time, keep the fitness up. Work up an appetite for Bray. Or oh, work up an appetite for the burgers at Bray Beach. <laughs> Woo. Cheers. <laughs> oh, all the people are so friendly. The Odeon. Just arrived at the All New Lighthouse, which is probably one of the best landscapes on the island. Um, let's push our way towards it. And one of my favorite images I've ever taken of the All New Lighthouse. Actually, we'll put it on frame. Bam! And we're back. <laughs> and yeah, this is the lighthouse. Okay, so I just found out a little bit more about Manet's Lighthouse, aka All New Lighthouse, aka most picturesque lighthouse in the Channel Islands. I don't know, I haven't explored Jersey that much, but we're gonna go with it. So anyway, it was constructed in 1912, and it's 36 meters high. And yeah, the reason why it was built was to protect the ships that would come from England and France across the Albany race. Actually, we've got a bit of an album cover coming on here. By my rap album. And yeah, can you see the size of those foghorns as well? Jeez, imagine living in there. <laughs> and yeah, if we turn around, we've got uh, Fort Lahume Florain. Uh, now in ruins, the fort was completed in 1859 and it was designed to mount seven guns and had a barrack accommodation for 67 officers and men. The Germans did not fortify it. This fort has the distinction of being Aldney's most dilapidated fortification and the causeway to it was long ago swept away by the sea. <laughs> I did not know that off by art, but there's a fun fact for you. So I'm going to try and continue my quest on uh, getting on top of the Odeon, uh, which is the bunker which I was at before. Uh, I'm, I swear it's an MBD, uh, and I'm all about the MBDs, and if you're unsure of what an MBD is, it's never been done. And uh, never been done means it needs being done. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get it done. We'll, we'll do a little bit of scout and then probably go back at night, see what's going on. Ulnika! This is one of the wild things about Alden is you don't need to wear a helmet on the motorbike. Yeah. Arrived at the Odeon and I'm pretty buzzing to see this view over the lighthouse. I've never been up here, been to Alden many, many times. And there we go. I think this is a pretty sheer cliff. As you can see, health and safety in Alden. Jesus, that's pretty uh, pulled out over the edge. We want to take a topple down that, I'll tell you that. And there we go. It's a banger. Okay, so it's 1.30, which means lunchtime, and that also means Bray Beach Burgers. <laughs> and I'm absolutely buzzing for a Bray Beach Burger. So, yeah, that's going to be the plan. Worked out where the Odeon is, worked out how to get here. Going to come back here tonight and, uh, yeah, shoot some bangers, create some hammers. Let's go. Okay, well today has taken a bit of an unexpected turn because I, from all that cycling, all the lighthouse information I took in, um, I pretty much got to Bray, ordered a burger with every condiment, extra bacon, cheese, whatever you name it, I got it, and um, then I passed out. <laughs> so I missed like three hours of the day, but I'm still in time for six. Just unlocking my bike, I've made a little bit of an error. I realized I forgot to pack a belt. So when I'm cycling, I'm just gonna be pulling a full mooner to everyone behind me, so apologies local Aldenaeans, um, you gotta deal with my bum. Yeah, gonna be looking for those leading lines, looking for an interesting foreground, looking for an interesting background, most importantly, a subject which is gonna lie in the middle ground. And then we can, if we can do some nice fancy stuff with like leading lines, uh, reflections, and patterns, symmetry, all those little bits of detail 
uh, we're going to be looking for in the landscape session today. Okay, currently just uh, scouting bangers and um, that actually reminded me of the conversation I had this morning with the taxi driver and uh, he was saying that the older generation uh, taxi drivers in Alderney, they don't care if you're walking on the road, they'll clip you as a lesson to not walk in the road. But, you know, <laughs> there's not pavements everywhere, so I'm a bit scared. To get to Gannett Rock, it's actually a pretty big hill. And I ain't cycling up it, I'm saving my energy for the tripod. Half a mile to go, and I'm on it. Like a car bonnet. It's getting a little bit bumpy now, so we're getting close. And yeah, it's gonna go through. I'm gonna cycle as far as I can. I'm gonna head on foot. And yeah, just get the camera out, get the long exposures going. Brought an ND filter with me, have a little play around with that. And yeah, I shot Gallon Rock before at a pretty good uh, sunset, so I'm gonna try and find something a little bit different and do something better. <laughs> okay, just arrived at Gannett Rock. <laughs> I'm buzzing. Seems like a thumbnail, actually. Woo! And yeah, so this is Gannett Rock. You can already smell it. And when I say smell it, <laughs> like it ain't fresh air. Um, you can see all that white. If you can see it, it's Le Bird Poo, or Le Bird Sheet. Excuse my French. And yeah, it's, it's pretty loud. Don't know if the microphone's picking this up. And yeah, I'll just get the zoom lens on and uh, show you a little bit of a closer shot. When I was out with the Alderney Wildlife crew on the boat, we were just uh, down on the right-hand side there of Gannett Rock. And uh, he said the Gannets are actually pretty violent. And that kind of, I kind of questioned it because you don't really see like sparrows attacking each other. You don't see pigeons attacking each other. But he said he'd seen one Gannet stab another Gannet in the neck with his beak. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus Christ, that's pretty nuts. Uh, yeah, so my opinion of them changed there and then. Whilst I'm here, actually, I'm just gonna plug my um, my new fancy lens caps that I'm painting up. This is the one of the back caps. Like banging. See, I've done like a Milky Way jobby. Look at that. So yeah, if you want custom lens caps, lens hoods, back caps, you name it, anything that I can paint on a camera, hit me up. Okay, so on top of Gannet... Okay, so currently on top of Gannet Rock. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be using a bit of this. And a little bit of that. It sounds like that, um, that Fat Boy Slim tune. Okay, so I'm on top of Gannet Rock at the moment. I'm not on top of Gannet Rock, I'm on top of a cliff next to Gannet Rock. <laughs> if I was on top of Gannet Rock, I'd be getting attacked. And yeah, so anyway, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some long exposures. And that doesn't mean I'm going to be exposing myself on top of the rock to the Gannets. They'd probably attack me. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adjusting my shutter speed accordingly whilst reading the light and adjusting my aperture and ISO. And they're all going to work with each other. What you want to be doing when you're doing these long exposures, you want to have your camera on a tripod. Uh, that's going to keep it still, so I'm going to show any movement. I'd recommend a big tripod, something that's not going to blow around in the wind, something that's going to be stable, it's not going to roll down the cliff. I've had a few bad experiences before and I've kind of found my tripod. And it's a Manfrotto travel tripod. Something just caught my attention, and that is the common gorse. Common gorse is yellow, which means it's a warm colour, and that actually comes forward in images, whereas blues go backwards in images. Gonna put some common gorse in the foreground, got Ganon Rock in the middle ground, and we got blue in the background. It's all gonna look good, we're gonna have some nice like patterns and stuff anyway. So yeah, this is what the, uh, the final shot looked like. Ah, Bray Beach, how's it going? It's Ben Fury speaking. Yeah, is the uh, is the kitchen still open? It is, all right. Uh, yeah, can I order a burger and chips please and uh, I'll see you in 15 minutes. Buzzing, all right, see you in a bit. Mission. And it's gonna be 
Okay, I'm back and I'm outside now. It's like 11.30 at night. It's basically, I'm just gonna be getting on my push bike. The pushang. And uh, yeah, let's get things going. Okay, I've just encountered the uh, first problem of tonight and I just ate a loose Malteser out of my bag thinking it was there from like yesterday or whatever. I was like, oh, fuck it, a bit of sugar. And uh, it was covered in sand and I brought no water with me. So just bear that in mind the whole time I'm doing this. I've got sandy, dry mouth. <laughs> I haven't come prepared, but yeah, let me set up. Hello, hello. Okay, it is 12.26 in the morning and uh, I've just set up my first night exposure and it's right outside the lighthouse and what I did was I had my camera on a tripod sorry if I'm a little bit slow it is pretty late and I've had a long day I've been up since four in the morning but anyway so uh, yeah I've set up my camera on a tripod um, and then I started bopping off some test exposures some high ISO short shutter speeds uh, getting my framing right so I've just taken a series of like 30 images walking up and down painting with light, doing my thing. Uh, I didn't slip, I didn't slide, and I'm still alive. <laughs> I need to get on a t-shirt. But yeah, so this is the final outcome of that banger. And yeah, super buzzing with it. Well, I haven't even seen it yet because I've got to make it, but I presume it's come out all right. So if you're listening to this, it's come out all right. Banging.